in the earlier clip we saw how to input this function in a table and then using table find value of the function at given value of x and then we said that we can also use graph but remember this kind of problem can be done faster with scientific calculator if you simply put x as minus uh, x as 3 that's the value here we want to find x as 3 so if you substitute for x the calculations are fairly easy and actually you can do that even mentally if this is 3 you get 9 this is minus 9 this is 3 plus 1 4 minus 8 minus 9 minus 8 minus 17 and that is exactly what we got for x equal to 3 as minus 17 so you don't have to use all these things if you have simple calculator so it will depend on what approach you should choose to save time but anyway we are just demonstrating different methods so we'll now see how to do it with graph so i'm going to exit say menu and i'm going to go to graph so i execute graph when you have inserted the function for table that same function remains even for the graph so i don't need to do that again but now i look here and see that draw is there at f6 position so i draw the graph and here is the graph now the trace trace is t r a c e here the trace utility means if you trace from left side to the right side what will be the different values of the function means of y there is another program in which trace is very well demonstrated and you can see that just to understand how trace works so here the same function minus x square minus 2 x plus 1 and i am going to start tracing and i am going to show you here this is tracing the curve and each time the x and y value will change so that's where the tracing or the trace function in the calculator comes from so here is the idea so we want you can see that it's going slow because you want to find uh, the turning point so that was uh, the trace concept so we go back and say trace so we have the point already marked here we are not interested in this point we are interested in x equal to 3 so you simply directly type x it says enter value of x 3 and then you execute and there it is x equal to 3 you get y as 17 but unless you press trace you don't get that option only when there is this plus sign you get chance to again let's see that we entered x equal to 15 and we got value of minus 200 something so we'll say x equals 15 and execute oh it's out of domain because our range was minus 3 to plus 3 so let's do uh, this itself to find out how to change the range uh, the range so i'm going and say exit so we need to change the range of x the x and y ranges are changed and there is no clue on the screen so you must look at f1 f2 f3 f4 and the v window view window does the work so here you have minus 4 to 4 we need value of x at 15 so we safely put this as 16 and execute then you exit 
you go back to the function but you need to draw it so here it's drawn now you have to again go trace and for x equals 15 and we got minus 257 last time there it is y is minus 257 so you can find graphically also the reason the previous range minus 3 to 3 was selected because our table contained that range and if you come from table to graph the ranges remain the same so this range is not very convenient so I am going to go and change it back before I forget so I am going to go and say make this as 4 Yeah, these things are important that if you change something you have to remember or know how to get it back to whatever range you want so that's how you can find value of expression at given x using both graphical and the table method let me see if we can do this using this as a simple calculator and so I have to go back to menu and simple calculator means run matrix so I execute that I have many many functions here but my cursor is blinking here so I will say minus x square so and at 3 so this is 3 this is my minus x square minus 2 times x plus 1 that means 3 plus 1 close parenthesis and this is all I actually needed and uh, this should give minus 17 and it does so similarly for minus uh, plus fi for 15 the same thing again minus oh oh I think I probably okay minus again 15 square minus 2 and I'm just simply going to do 15 plus 1 is 16 so I don't want to do this and there it is minus 257 so on a test you will have to take into account how much time you have for that one point so there is no need for graph or table if you can get the answer this way and that's the end of the clip.